In this video, I will show you how to do an automatic calibration of squat model with our squat. So for this video, we need to have data, for example, all of the files in text in out folder and the squat executable file and daily observe stream flow at the catchment outlet because we are going to calibrate for daily stream flow at the catchment outlet. So all of the data in here is in the R squad package and how to extract the data from R squad package is uh, presented in the tutorial one. So let's do it. So we need to open uh, R studio. Then con R squat library R squat and sh show the graphical user interface. Show R squat. Okay, if you want to increase the font size, you can see here view zoom. Yeah. View. Zoom out, zoom in, okay, yeah. So um, here we are going to use the squad model in the working folder where all of the files created by our squad will be saved. For example, I want to have a folder here, name working folder. So all of my files created by us, what will be here? Copy the path, paste here, and the text in our folder. Example data, squat, text in out. So you can see there is the HIU information here and squad executable file. I save here. Here and file with list of squad parameter. can see the container of this file. Okay, and now I need to select which parameter I'm going to calibrate using which uh, method of change. For example, router delay, absolute change. And if you want to see what the absolute change, you can click help. Yeah. Absolute change means that a new value will equal to the original value plus with the apply value and the apply value is any value within this range i can add new parameter insert new row after for example i don't know the parameter name i can click here yeah. you can search here for example router parameter or hiu parameter for example, I want to change the canopy max. Uh, let's say replace the meaning, let's say one to 10. And I want to apply it on base in, on land use, on sort and on slope because this parameter at the HIU level. But this is at the basin level, so we don't need to have information about land use, soil, and slope. And you can remove the parameter here, let's say, delete, yeah. And you check if your table is correct or not. For example, I type something here, it's wrong. Here, for example, I can only apply to the land use forest 
or agriculture. Okay, let's check again. It's correct. But let's say I want to go back, apply for all land use and similar. You just tie all of the soil names in here and separate by comma. And I want to generate 30 parameters set using uniform latent hypergroup sampling, which is similar to the SUFI2 approach in Squat Cup. And now I can run SWAT. But before running, I need to tell us what which information I want to say after each model run. So I want to say the simulated stream flow, the catchment outlet, which is in the watch out five and the column number four and the day range. So the model on the R squad automatically detects the simulation time from the squad project. So here the simulations end in 27. So you cannot see like any day after, but you can select any day earlier. So I want to run on five cores. I will run five simulations in parallel. So it means that I have 30 model runs and five in parallel. So I just need six runs in each core or each threads. So now you can click run, but let's see here. Example, working folder. Okay, you see when I click here, five take into account folder will be created. It's running. And we have to wait until all of the runs are done. Okay, then you can see here, 30 parameter set. Mm -hmm. Some more here, can we max between one and 10? You can say a CSV or Excel. Now, objective function, let's say we want to select the NSE and load the observed data. So squad can display the observed information here. Now you can calculate the objective function. Here's the NSE and the parameter value. or you can display a table objective function value. So let's go back to the observed data. So the observed data in here, we have data for calibration here. C is this value for calibration. So just first the format of data, date, time, hour, hour, minute, minutes, and observe value, and the flag C for calibration. So all of the value here will be used for calibration. All of the value here we use for validation. And we have the NSE for calibration is 7.4 maximum NSE. And validation 7.5. Maximum NSE for validation. Sensitivity analysis here is the multi regression. I use the, the multi regression approach. So, CND, the most sensitive, but to get more reliable results, we should have more iteration. For example, here, instead of 30, it could be 1,000 or so. 
optimization, let's say my behavior or threshold is zero. Now I display the plot. This is the best simulation. This is the 95% prediction certainty. And you can display the values of this plot. You can say control C copy and say somewhere or somewhere in the text file. Yeah. And be and the ninety five prediction and percent prediction uncertainty for the parameter. This is the best parameter. And the P and R factor for calibration is zero point four one and validation is zero point five. R factor for calibration is is zero point five and for validation also around zero point five. So now you can save your project. Yeah. And your project will save in this file. Yeah. Later on when you turn off this, for example, you accidentally turn off, you can open again, show us what. There's nothing here. Yeah, but you can load again. Load project. Working folder. Yeah. 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 Okay, thanks for watching.